Hi guys, so tonight is date night, so I thought I'd film a tutorial of what I'm going to be wearing tonight. Um, this, um, this is a look that I came up with. If you're interested in seeing how to do this, then just keep watching. Hi guys, so um, I'm going to go ahead and start with uh, my Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. I already applied this, and then I just took my powder puff and a little bit of setting powder, and I just blotted it so it's a little bit more dried up. Now I'm going to take this color Vanilla right here and I'm using my Sigma E40 brush and I'm just gonna put that on the underneath the eyebrow as a highlight and um, I'm also gonna use a little bit of NYX I should have done this first but I'm just gonna apply the NYX jumbo eye pencil and milk just in the inner corner just a little tiny bit because I want to brighten that area so I'm gonna quickly blend that in and then I'm going to go ahead and use that same brush and go in with that vanilla and just put it on the inner corner. Like that. Um, I like to start with a clean brush and then use my lighter colors and then the darker colors so I can stick with the same brush without affecting the eyeshadow that I do. So um, that's what I'm doing today. I'm just going to be using this brush right now. And now I'm going to take this color called, right here, it's called Samoa Silk, and it's just a, a peach. Taking that same brush, and I'm just going to put it on the lid and then up into the crease and kind of just blend it upward a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to take texture, and it's a little bit darker than that color. It's right here, and I'm just going to use that same brush again, and then just take it in the outer part of the eye, and just kind of blend it lightly. We don't want this color to go all over. We want to kind of keep it in the outer part of the eye. This is like a really, um, kind of like a, an orangey peach texture. It kind of looks like a, a really light brown, but it's like an orangey brown. So this would be beautiful with blue eyes. Okay, now I'm going to take an all-over brush. I'm going to be using a MAC 224, and I'm just going to blend just right above the crease and then kind of outside of the eye just to make sure there aren't any harsh lines. Okay, now I'm going to take this color called Bronze, and it's a very nice bronzy color, and I'm going to be using, this is a Sigma E55, it's just a large shader brush, <clears throat> and I'm going to get quite a bit on the brush, and then I'm just going to take it in the outer part of my eye, um, just at an angle towards the end of my eyebrow, so it's just flat, and I'm just going to place that right on the outside, and then kind of just bring it in a little bit. And then I'm going to take it um, flat and then kind of just bring it into the crease just a little bit. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, now I'm just going to take my blending brush and just kind of encircling motions blend that bronze color. Okay, now I'm going to take Smolder, actually. Now I'm going to take um, Nylon, and it is this color right here. And I'm just going to take a clean brush and put a little bit in the inner corners. And 
and then just kind of bring it in so it blends with that other shadow. Okay, now I'm taking Smolder Liner and I'm just going to put it across the top lash line about three quarters of the way in. And now I'm going to take a angled brush, an angled brush, and I'm just going to kind of smudge it into the lash line. I'm going to angle it up a little bit towards the end of the eyebrow. Okay, and you can stop there with the liner, but I always have to have winged liner, so I am going to do that really quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and applied mascara as well, and now I'm going to take Smolder again and just line the waterline. And I'm just bringing it about halfway in. And now I'm going to be doing my blush. I've already um, contoured when I did my foundation. I just used a darker foundation to contour my cheekbones and then all the areas that I would normally contour. And now I'm going to be taking Pearl from MAC. I'm just putting that on the top of my cheekbones. And then I'm going to go over that a little bit with Light Scapade, this new MSF that I just bought. And I'm using a MAC 130 and I'm just going to lightly dust over that. And then just bring it up here, um, just kind of like in a C shape. Okay, now I'm taking Dandelion. This is a very pretty pale pink from Benefit. I'm using my MAC 116. And I'm just going to put that on the back of my cheeks. This is a really light blush. Um, super light, but I love that like pale pink blush. It's just really pretty. Okay, now I'm just going to take a big powder brush and kind of blend everything together. Okay, now for lips. I'm using Flesh Pot. It's a nude from MAC. And then I'm taking Dervish Lip Liner, my favorite lip liner. And I'm just going to line the lips just lightly. And then I'm just taking a little bit of this Lilac Pastel by Revlon just to give it a little bit of a glossy look. And then for finishing touches, I'm going to take Smut this color right here and an angled brush and I'm just going to go underneath the lower lash line. I love using Smut for um, lower lash line in the crease and it's just like the perfect color that goes with everything. It's like a gray but it has red in it so I feel like it kind of goes with cool colors but then it also goes with warm colors too. So that is my final look. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye!